Hello everyone, Dependent Quarter here and today I have for you a very interesting lock. It's a black belt lock and that is the ASA Twin 6K with Gin Drivers. It's basically what I call the big brother of the Robur Safe Deposit Lock because uh, the Robur has uh, four side pins with the same sidebar and the same false gates and five main pins, uh, main stack pins and this one has one more side pin and one more uh, main, main stack pin and yeah the core is very interesting there is milling on all of the chambers except chamber 3 on both sides matching the jeans which requires uh, fold picking to get them out but uh, not a true fold pick like in the <clears throat> As a 700 let's say because there is a sidebar and it provides counter rotation uh, yeah basically how to pick this lock how I approach it first I'm uh, have very nice beating uh, this lock was gifted to me by Don Picks thank you for that Don and yeah he chose very nice beating so I had to use uh, deep hooks to not overset pin 2 and 3 and the first phase of picking is uh, getting the jeans into the milling, then you get small core rotation. Then I pick uh, the side pins with this beautiful, beautiful mouth lock. And basically I go from here, as you can see, this flock is perfect because it fits the chambers. And I can manipulate them. Basically, I pick them as I pick the jeans. I give a little counter rotation and move them up and down. And phase three, after the sidebar is picked, I get even deeper false set. Then I need to tap, 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 tap the key pins until the jeans are all, all, all out of the milling. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this video is also going to be uh, for sadistic pickers uh, 200 subscriber giveaway uh, sadistic picker asked, uh, asked us to pick uh, or show the hardest lock we've ever picked and I will tell you sadistic uh, this is the lock in question this is the Opnus MMX2 this one I have opened it only, only once and never on video I'm trying basically almost every day to open it hopefully in the future there will be video of it and that's the reason I decided to uh, pick this walk instead because it's very hard walk as well and I hope uh, it will be interesting for you to see <clears throat> so congratulations this thing on 200 subscribers I know you're already or almost at 500 but it doesn't matter you have an uh, amazing channel and in the future I will try to send you a challenge walk for sure because I know you love them challenge walks and yeah uh, pretty much that's it uh, sorry for the rambling let's get to picking okay as a twin 6k is in the vice it's working All of the jeans are in the meaning now.
Okay, the first three <clears throat> side pins are set. Now the last two usually give me the most trouble. Okay, I think I picked the sidebar. I will try the jeans now. Oh, what a relief. <clears throat> it's open. Now let's keep the kitchen clean. <clears throat> oh, very nice. This is the ASA 6K picked and got it. I will walk it back up. Well, it's not got it yet, but it will be in a couple of minutes. Now I have to remove this ugly C clip. C clip off, shim, and my hand on the sidebar because the last time the sidebar flew away. I will show the sidebar first. Okay. The springs of the sidebar. Now I will dump out the key pins. Nice. Okay, <clears throat> now I will remove, uh, actually let's check the milling first. Here is the milling in chamber 1, chamber 2, chamber 3 has no milling, chamber 4 has milling, chamber 5 has milling and chamber 6 has milling. On the other side as well, milling on 1, 2, 3, has no milling, 4 and 5 and 6 have milling. Okay, now let's take a look at the side pins. They are actually all the same. Typical. Actually, that's the best side pins because they have very nice force gates and the force gates grab really hard. You can see all the springs are here. 
I will just dump them out like this. Here is the core. Okay, now let's see what hides upstairs. Position one, we have a gin. Actually, there are gins in all the positions, but I'm trying to show them that they're in the right orientation. Here's gin two. Gen 3 that doesn't have a uh, milling on the core corresponding to it, so it acts like a spool. Gen number 4. Gen number 5. And gene number six. <sighs> Here is the core actually. Let me show you. And the sidebar groove. And yeah, pretty much that's it. Here are the main pins. And here are the side pins with the sidebar. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and bye bye.